everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. So as you can see, not much really. Let's go and have a look at the mod farm. Actually, you can look on the mod farm, you can see it. Let's go and have a quick look there because it's actually very, very noisy. I just happened to go along to check things were okay and everything running fine. See if there were any uh, slimes from slime balls around. No, no slime balls. Maybe that's not a slime chunk. But <laughs> just just listen to that noise can you actually hear me <laughs> and it's still actually picking up stuff I'm not quite sure why maybe they just they die themselves but anyway we'll get out of there <laughs> at least it's keeping the other mobs at bay <laughs> they may be capped so that's the intention anyway so the other thing I did was set up make sure the sprinkler was working it's not actually done anything yet as far as I can see let's have a look I think it is sprinkling. I just checked it a while ago, but it's going quite slowly because we've got no sticks underneath it. So I'm not sure about pumpkins, whether they grow at this time of the year. I suspect, I don't see anything in it to say that they shouldn't grow, but like the industrial hemp is a weed, it just grows all the time anyway. So, And this is something interesting here too. This is horsetail. And that grows here. I think that grows everywhere, but the horse tail is actually in, you, has a use, but we'll come to that in a minute. Oh, wrong one. Oh, you can see I've got stacks of pumpkins from the last time I was doing pumpkin growing. Um, <clears throat> right. So, in the book, I have, first of all, I have uh, fire resistance. You can just see it there on the, on the right-hand side. So, let's do some fire resistance. Now, I think it was to do with... It's one of the... Um, Constructs armory items. I'm not sure what it takes actually. Let's have a quick look for that one. I don't think I've put it in here, have I? Um, this thing. So it needs four blaze powders, one uh, castor of any description and four pieces of obsidian. Now we should have four pieces of uh, four blaze powders around somewhere. I've definitely got four blaze powders around in one of these chests. I, well, I suppose I can do it again. If I'm standing in water or very near it, it's probably a good thing to do. It probably should stand, make the water go up a bit higher as it happens, but it's not there. Where are you? I'm sure I've got some. Nope, I can't see any. That means we're going to have to... Do. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take one of those blaze, blaze rods and put it into the... Hopefully I can find the blaze rods, that is. I didn't see them when I was going past. I'll have a put the blaze rods. Well, that's strange. Oh, I know. They must be in here. Now, every time I walk past, I think that's a... I think that's a creeper. Yeah. Maybe I've got them in this chest here. Oh yes, I've got four few. I've been collecting bits and pieces. Oh, and I've definitely show you the magnet shards, did you? Did I? Well, the magnet shards, we're going to use those soon as well. Because we got the magnet block blocks I was doing. Well, we're going to the nether today anyway, so that's part of the reason for doing the fire resistance. So now we should be able to do this. So we've got one of those. It doesn't have to be any one we can do. So we get some fire resistance. So now we can go and put that on our armor. But I didn't need to trundle there and back to now. Where should we put it? I've got my armor with me. I want my leggings actually. I think I haven't got my no. I haven't got my leggings with me. Oh, in fact they're here, aren't they? <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> How did I do that? That's uh, boots. Yeah, good. That's very strange. Maybe it's, maybe maybe that's where it went to. <laughs> I was looking for that. I had to make another one. <laughs> All right, sorry, distraction. So now we can put this into our armor. So we need to go to our armor fortune. So leggings and the fire resistance should give us some fire resistance leggings i think so blessed fire and ambitious so now we should get less fire damage ha. 
I don't think we get no fire damage. I think just we get less fire damage. Do I need my furry woolly stuff on at the moment, or can I just get away without it? It would be best to have it without it if I can, because if we're going to the nether, we want the other one anyway. What's the, what season is it? Oh, it's coming up to summer. We definitely don't need it. Let's just put that on the third stand here. So, fortunately, it didn't. Oops. I don't, oh, of course, got no armor in my hand. Where does that go to then? How oh, did I put it on? Oh, okay. And it puts a uh, shift time, you shift click it, it puts it on you. There we go. So, with that, we'll probably want this, uh, this stuff anyway. Not that. Uh -huh. Of course, I've got the respirator. I've got the, the vacuum bag on. Let's take this off. You can't put the vacuum bag on the armor stand. I have tried it actually. I was going, let's put this on. That might be quite good. You can put it in his hand. <laughs> he can hold it. Oh, well, I'll have to leave it like that. Didn't, didn't know you could do that as it happens. Oh, I found some out. Yeah, so yes, okay. You have to move it out of the. Let's move this stuff out of the way and we can get it all off, off the man. I suppose you can go. Oh, no, you can't because I've got it in my hat. Ugh. Honestly. Right. Millionth time look, lucky. Let's go and put the rest of this stuff in here. I think. Yes, I can. Good. I'll move the fish out of the way. We'll put the fish away. So. Oh, I forgot that. Yes, I didn't need to take it out of the chest. Because it, it takes the ones out of the chest in preference to the ones you've got in your hand. I've forgotten about that. We don't need. I don't think we need this with us. Let's put that. Up. Let's put that back up here. We don't need that hammer. What have we got here? I don't need two uh, tomes. So I thought I'd. Up, I did with the tome. I thought I'd put it um, somewhere else. Oops. Try again. I thought I'd put. I'd, I, it got used as a book, and I needed a book for something. And it, I think it, I thought it used it as a book. Obviously not. Anyway, so right, let's get our clipboard out again. So we've done fire resistance. That's now done. So we can take that one off. Electric poles. Next one on the list, and those are these things here. Now the electric pole is from Magnetic Craft, and the recipe for this is just like this. So three con connectors over two logs. Uh, any type of logs, I think, and then you can the recipe for those we've done before is two pieces of stone and one copper and one iron makes eight. So I, I unfortunately shift clicked to those away, so, so I had to go and dump a whole load of them. But the problem is this I was thinking, oh, this would be nice, we can make it look pretty around here, but alas, no, I don't think it's yet ready. Let's put it down here, like say, where have we got a connector? Here we've got a connector. Well, it's, and I thought, so we've got these connectors here. I was going, right, okay, let's join that connector to something else. In fact, let's put another pole down somewhere else. Let's put a pole down, say, here, like that. And you'll see those have connected up automatically. All right, that's, that's quite nice. I thought to myself, we should be able to just then take a normal piece of copper, copper which I think is probably in the workbench over here. Yes, we've got one over here. At the moment, this is linking somewhere or other. Don't ask me where it's linking. I thought, oh, right, we can do is we can take this connector here, so we can shift right click that one on there. So that sets the position, position is updated, and then we'll click it on that one. Unable to connect wire. Oh, try again. And again, you can't connect it. And if you try shift clicking this one, I'll tell you, shift click this one, position updated unable to connect wire and I'm not sure whether it's any wire I'll tell you what we'll do let's go and get another connector out of the system I'm sure I've got lots of connectors around it's coming up to night time I've noticed as usual we have got plenty of connectors which means we're going to have to have a sleep and I just had a sleep as it happens 64 let yeah see I unfortunately shift click those in and made loads of them right 
Um, I plan to go to the Nether and have a look again at the blaze rods, uh, the blaze rods, the blazes, and see if we can. I don't die so if I take less damage when I get hit by them because I'm bound to get hit. So what do we could what could we put this connector on? Can we put a connector on here, for example? I know they aren't going to connect up, but no, we can't. Can we put it on any block? Oh, we got it there. All right, that's connecting. So let's see if we can connect to that one. Unable to connect. Well, right, shift click that, and then we should be able to connect that to one of these at least. You'd have thought, right? Unable to connect. I haven't found a way to do it yet, and I've tried and I've tried and I've tried and I just haven't found a way to to be able to connect those up. So that's just a, wor a word of warning. I'm not sure how how I forgot sixty foot. Yeah, we've got one. How good it is uh, if it actually works. If anybody knows, let me know if it doesn't doesn't work. I don't think Magneticraft's finished yet anyway, so that's one of the things about Magneticraft. We don't need that with us either, do we? Right, good. So that was electric pulse. Next one, the hydraulic press. This is a nice piece of this is a nice piece of kit. This is the one that you can basically make plates with without having to use hammers and just let it get on with and do it. I think I've got the bits in here. I have. I've got a connector, I've got some copper coils, I've got the hydraulic press blueprint and I think uh, it's a 3x5 I think because I've put it here and it got this corner covered up I think. So what we'll do is we'll put it down here. See if it's yes yeah, so I think that's the right that's the right way. It's very tall uh, so I might have to, I probably could move it a bit or maybe we we'll make it go that way. Let's make it go that way instead. There is a wrench in Magnetic Craft, but you can't craft it. Um, let's put this down. Can't do it there because it's going to clash with that one. I'll have to put it on this piece of wood because I want to get rid of this garden anyway. So I've got plenty of wheat and don't need any more. So like that. So we'll just we'll just break up some of these wheat doesn't matter about having water and in fact it doesn't even reach the water that's fine so now we need as you can see uh, these grated 14 grated I think there's 14 grated we need for this so I've got to check the book couldn't I of course I've got the book with me yes I have I right, don't need the poles put the book down this is the magnetic graph book anyway so multi blocks hydraulic press so three by three by five high. So we need fourteen corrugated iron. One blueprint we got that. Seven support. Two copper coils. One stripe machine block and two corrugated iron machine blocks. That's actually right. It's interesting that because it's got it wrong in them. Yeah, yeah. It says it's a corrugate, not a corrugated. I did report it as a bug. Ah. It's difficult to see when you. Yeah, I think that's okay. Now we've got more blocks in here. What have we got next? We've got three more corrugated iron to do. And I can't see where they are. Right, what have we got here? So what's it say? Iron grate machines. Okay, so we expected iron grate, and I think it starts at the front. And I think these two, yes, these two are corrugated iron here. Look. And I think there'll be three across like that. Okay, now we've got two copper coils, and they go in this side here like this. Now, of course, I can't reach, but you know, I did actually make some <laughs> ladders to make do a good to it. <laughs> so we could uh, put the ladders down here like this, and then climb up a bit. So what have we got here? I think those are support columns. Here we've got one copper coil as well, so that'll be the copper coil. Then we've got a corrugated iron in the middle, and then the yellow and black one. And then on top of that, we'll have support columns. Can we take all of these with us? Yes, we can. Great. I like quite like building these machines actually. 
so what do we have to do I think that song goes down there like that and then we have the yellow and black one that goes on top of it not wheat and then top of that one I think is what's it saying here we need supports let's do the supports first y-axis this is actually important this got me going for a bit by the way um, we got a y-axis yes and that's the corrugated iron one and then a y-axis and this one here let's have a look let's put down the other one so now it's a, I can't read that X it says support column X axis now that's the one that was getting me I couldn't figure out what a support column X axis was and it's actually the other way around they've got, they've got the pattern like that so we have to go up here I need to put some more ladders down because I can't reach again so when you put these ones down you've got to go the other way so what we can do is you can put one down in the middle to start with like that but it's the wrong way and it'll tell us it's expecting it doesn't invalid block constants it's saying uh, I can't read it from there because it's just hmm let's get off and then we'll look see if we can see it again so it found there in a valid block so we'll put the we'll put the other one back into the place here I didn't do that very well, did I? Because I've set the ladders up on the other side. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll just break this one. Oops. Oh, I didn't make it good. So now, what you have to do is this way around. It's actually sort of logical. So you have to hit it on the side of this one like this. And you'll see the direction is in this direction. What I'm going to do is do it from the other side because it it makes more sense to put the ladders here doesn't it uh, can I not put ladders there yeah it must be up to and so we've got another one that goes up here like that and then the ones that go across like this now it will actually say that we've got an invalid one here see support column y axis expected x orientation and that's this block here and you can see it's the one that's not done So. And it did take me a while to figure this out so all you have to do is put it like that and then it shouldn't be complaining and it's built so i can remove these ladders i can leave them out you can leave them there it doesn't make much difference let me right click it and there we get this machine <laughs> quite impressive isn't it i like the black and yellow sort of warning things it stamps things down on it and here's the connector so we can put the connector on here I'm not sure we actually have to connect. Sometimes you have to connect these things up, sometimes you don't. Now, here's the. This, it doesn't look like anything's connected to that, but it must be, otherwise it wouldn't be working. So let's see if we can connect that one to this one. Uh, I need to get rid of this stuff and get that, that one coil I've got that I use for joining stuff up with. don't need those ladders now we'd leave those ladders in there now it might complain about not being able to link sometimes it does do that but it seems to be fairly flexible there you go so it's now linked in if we look at this thing we've got power and we've got different things now obviously this one's the one we're going to be using because this one here it's the heavy plates and if you look at magnetic craft here so we've done, the, we've done that one let's have a look at the magnetic craft um, the heavy plates where are they can't see them for trying of course here we go and I look for a right click on these for the uses of these you can smelt them fantastic <laughs> and that's all you can do with them so obviously this is something for the future that's going to come in. I'm not quite sure what the. You see, it doesn't have anything in here for ingots. I'm just wondering. So well, we've got a recipes for that one. Let's look at the recipes for this one. Yes, we know we could smelt it. 
different things. But I don't see anything in here. Crafting station, workbench, work table. No, I don't see anything in here how you actually use that option. So let's go and get some um, ingots. Got some in here actually. Oh, not that chest. That was the chest I was using. Wasn't it? Get rid of the grass. Don't need so much grass. Uh, let's take half a stack of these ironing because we always need the iron ones. Let's just put those into the machine. And I guess that the output is uh, that might be input, mightn't it? That's because it's blue. And blue is a standard Minecraft color for input, and orange is a standard Minecraft color for output. So it might well come out here. Obviously, to check that, I've got to build some more inserters and the rest of it. So what we'll do is we'll just put the ingots into the into here to start with I can't I've got to make sure it's got the right setting then you can do it you can't shift click them in otherwise so out we get plates fantastic that's one machine no one more machine built there's actually a bed just here let's just have a lie down on that one but temperature wise we seem to be okay so you see this thing is steaming which means it's got power so the next machine I wanted to build from Magnetic Graph was a thermopile. So we've got our four ingots of steel now, I think. Let's go and get that. I get that. I can go and find you, that is. Too many mirrors. Can't get past the mirrors. So we've actually got 36 steel. So we've been, while well, it's been doing that, does that make sense? 28. I think so. So we've got the upgrade advancement now. So what we can make now is a thermopile. And why do I want to make a thermopile? Because you've got to get rid of heat from there, otherwise it melts. And the only way I can think of is to do that is to make the thermopile. So that's what we need for the thermopile. I think that's how it's pronounced. That's probably knowing me is completely wrong, so let's have a look. It's this thing, isn't it? Thermopile. So we need four copper plates, one machine frame, and four steel ingots. Hopefully, so what I can make is I need to make a machine block. So for that, I need to make a motor. For that, I need to make one of these. So have we got enough for that one? Yes, we can make one of those. Let's try that again. Can we make a machine block? A uh, motor? Yes, we can make two motors. Fantastic. So therefore, we can make four machine blocks. Hopefully, yes, we can. Good. So now. Let's have a look at the thermopile. We should be able to make that. What do we need? I think it's steel, copper plates. We need copper plates. Let's go and get some copper plates. I'm running low on copper actually. No, sort of low. This would be 12. I want one more for 12. So I might as well shove those into our new machine. So we've got 24 of those. Let that one make it. Take this one out of there and chip that in there like that. Take out the existing iron plates and go and put those back in the machine. So we just need four, don't we? And I believe the speed of this depends on what you're actually you're crushing or making flat. So in this case, copper is fairly soft, so it's going to be doing that fairly quickly. Good. So we need those four. So let's go and build that machine now. Oh, I've got a high stride in this armor as well on the boot, on the leggings, I think. So now let's see if we can do this. You see, I've noticed I've, I've locked up all the recipes in here. So that when I take this one out, it doesn't take those away. What am I missing? Probably steel ingots. No, what am I missing? Got machine frames. Copper plates. Uh -huh. Let's try again. So good. So we can put those back in again now. Well, I should be able to put those back in again, but things are a bit full. I probably don't need the cobblestone and the sticks in there anymore because we've got the machine to do it for us. We don't need to go and do it manually anymore, do we? So that's good. I think that'll do. I'll take those copper ingots and put them across on the other side. 
So let's go and see what this thing. I'll probably need to connect while I'm thinking about it. Otherwise, where are they there? Hard to see when you can only see the numbers. Now the thermopile we can make using heat. Now we've got heat coming out of this machine here, haven't we? Should be down there. And what's that slate? Tell us what slate's doing down there. There we are. So we can use this heat here, and it's the difference between two sides. So what we can do here is we can put some ice. Now ice will melt. So we have to do with ice. <laughs> I've got on me this being a bit of a nuisance at the moment. Probably the iron. Yes. Let's go and get rid of this copper plates and yeah, iron while we're thinking. Uh, and the sticks and the cobblestone while we're thinking about it. Um. Couple plates. I wanted to put those into here, didn't I? That's good. Yep. That's giving me a few more spaces. I want to get rid of these sticks too. Let's put the sticks in this chest. I don't have a space for sticks yet. So now, that my part. I wanted to get some ice, didn't I? And I want to get my chisel. Because if you use chisel ice, I believe chiseled ice doesn't melt. So let's see if that works. So we've got some ice, I think, from last year, so to speak. And then we can take this and we can chisel it. Oh, I can't do it that way, can I? I've got to oh, put the chisel in my hand, I've forgotten. Already forgotten. Okay. So then you can put the ice into that like that. I mean, it just doesn't matter what pattern, we just do cracked. Cracked ice will do fine. I can put the chisel back. In fact, I've got a row of stuff up here, can't I? Those item racks good, yes. So now, oh yes, wrong place. So we put one down here as we put Okay, that's a, yes, of course, it's picked up everything that I didn't want to do. So well, let's put the ice down here like this. That's the way butterfly. <laughs> and then we put the thermopile next to it. I can't think of anything colder than ice at the moment in this mod pack. So therefore we should be able to put the connector on top of this. Oh, it might be a bit low down, mightn't it? Huh. We shall see. Oh, it does have a it does have a UE a user interface good but doesn't tell me okay so what we need to do then is to get a heat cut one of these heat things and I think no nope, none in there they're probably in, they're probably in this thing anyway aren't they yes we've got some in here I'll take two with me. Maybe I need to connect it up. Where's it gone to? When I say connect up, oh, I probably need to have three in that case. Let's put one down here like that. And you see that connects to this thing. And you see it's now got 4,000... 2.9 watts. It's not a lot of watts, but is it a lot of watts? Because I don't. This mod's a bit strange for its watts. So the voltage is going up, so it is generating power, as you can see. And I'm not sure whether this power is better than other powers. So let's take this and see if we can actually link it to anything. It might not work because of its position. It probably needs to be on the other side of this thing. Can we actually join that to that? Oh, yes, we can. <laughs> So it does work. So there we have our first thermopile up and running, and it's got 10,000 joules in there, 125 watts, 1500 flux per tick. I don't understand these numbers, and I presume that's the output. Well, it's not. We're not using the machine anyway. Now, whether that would prevent this thing from smelt from turning into lava, I don't know. I've asked the question on the forum, on the forum, on the week, uh, well, on the issue track as it happens, and we'll see what he says. 
hopefully it does answer. Let's get rid of this stuff we've got here. Got some dirt and some slate we can get rid of. Good. Let's go back to the book. So we've done the hydraulic press now, and we've done those two on there, and you've seen how good, how good that little mob, mob grinder is. I, I don't know why I didn't do it flat in the first place as it happens. I forgot, oh no, something's actually grown. Anyway, so that's all. I think as far as magnetic craft, that's basically it. I'm not sure there's much more we can do with magnetic craft in here. Let's have a look at what we've got. It talks about heat here, so there's they're talking about the heat system and he's talking about electricity and transportation to connect normal connectors to the electric poles you need an electric pole transformer just right click with it in your hand oh so we need to make a right so oh, I didn't look at that before let's have a look at that one didn't read it properly did I so transformer It must be an electric pole transformer. Okay, we can do this. Lead, one connector and two copper ingots. Ah, oh, that's good. Ah, that's good. Penny drops, I hope. Uh, lead plates, we might have those in here. We've got 20, good. We've got copper ingots, copper plates. That should be enough. Can we make one of these? Indeed we can. Where did it get the connector from? Oh no, I've got no connectors in there. I need a connector. Let's go and put a connector in there. Didn't I just go for sleep a minute ago? Right. So let's take the A motor out. See if we can take it out now. We've got the covering, it's got the lead plates, we've got the connector. We've got everything we need. Fantastic. So now. We have to go to bed. Well, that's good because my health's come up it's eventually come back to being normal which is great <laughs> so now we can connect it so we have to hit the electric transformer i think let's try that then because that'll make life a lot nicer won't it so if we take do we have to hit this one in here Uh-huh. Do I have to shift right click that onto that? Let's just have a look see if that works. Oh, it does. Aha! So there you are, that's how that works. Fantastic. That means I can make this look decent. Wow, that's good. Can we do that on the other ones as well or just do it on the middle one? You know, we'll find that out next time. So now, I think that it's time to have a quick trip back to the Nether because that was one of my things. I was going to do some other stuff for today, but I don't think we're going to get time to do that. I want to. Oh yes, I'll, we can do this one. The windmill of the snow. When it snows, sometimes snow lands on here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oh, lands on the windmill. Just that block there, you can't quite just see it. Just there. it lands on there, the windmill doesn't work anymore. All the lights go out. So that's a very bad, a very bad thing. Don't like that at all. So that means mobs can spawn, of course. That's funny. Is that because I put that in there? I'll collect up this later on, I think. Right, I'll just take eight, eight of these out of here and we'll put the fish out because fish take quite a long time to, to do their stuff, don't they? So I'll put that into there like that. I'm surprised that's gross like that. Never mind. It's fun. So, so let's go and take this armor off in here. Of course, we can enchant this armor as well. So I could put mending and other things on it. So it makes more sense to go fishing. Now I've got to be. I suppose I've got to be quick because my temperature will get quite cold. Well, make sure we get that in our hand because you never know we get a lot of butterflies and here so you saw the path we did before I'm just having a quick look around if there's any other nasty creepers around 
we made this path before didn't we it's all lit up all the way down there but I built another one as you can see here it goes out this way let's go and have a look at that one I just put down it took a while it was a bit risky of course because you're always a chance of gas and whatever else spawning around here this is where I actually got some glowstone from as I was doing I didn't dig it all up so we go up some steps here and as you can see on the minimap I'm actually going across the, the lava and then we come to this little bit here and what can you see on your right hand side the portal to the new base uh, so we can actually go in here I haven't done this before to be honest with you I really actually haven't done this strange Let's wait a few seconds so there we are at the, uh, the new base site that was fairly quick wasn't it fairly quick and fairly painless so let's go back again you should see all the oh yeah, the jungles there you see you can see, and they've got the marker on here as well of course so that's a nice quick way to travel and all these crops have grown by the looks of it I do would like to get some more water made for those as well so I'm going to have to make get some more aquamunda, aquamunda stuff working See, and I made it a bit safer around the back as well so I made covered it all in so you can actually see through here so it's not too bad so if there are any gas around you can have you can have a go you can have a go at them back again but you'll see there's some death markers over there <laughs> we'll visit those next I think it's reasonably safe down here But what I should really do is to take this right up to the very roof of the nether and do it from that way, knock down those two portals and recalculate where the portals will be because they should then come back out at the existing portals. Then there's, that's the that's our other portal. So let's go over to the nether now. Just some zombies, I can just check check the minimap for them. You can see a few zombies. There's usually one or two around here as well. And that is where I went and got the the um, magna box from. Oh, that's a bit embarrassing. Let's just jump it. Now that I've got fire resistance, I should be a little bit better prepared for the uh, the mobs. And you get endermen in there as well. I think that must be a new thing. And it's quite obviously it's quite a long way it's not that bad it's 250 blocks isn't it something like that we have to walk so it doesn't take too long but what i have done is i've put down a few load um quite a few uh jack-o-lanterns down around you can see they put them all in the floor so that's keeping things lit up down here it's, it doesn't really matter that much because I think most of the nether swap mobs will spawn there anyway, especially zombie pigmen. I have to, I have to jump it manually at the moment. Let's have a look. You see, there's actually not too much around. This is where I was getting. Basically, I was running back. And as I was running back, I was getting. I'd already been set on fire, so I basically those were the two death points. So I wasn't too bad. Now there should be some more blazes spawning from over here, sooner or later. So we can actually just stand here and wait. Oh, we could actually go and have a look at some other bits and pieces. I did have a go down through it. I did dig it out. I thought I did anyway. I can hear you. That's strange. I'm sure the. Oh yeah, I went this way. 
don't seem to be too many mobs around here. Because obviously I would like to get some nether wart as well. I'm being cautious. <laughs> I could actually use the minimap as well, of course. Oh, that's just an input. I don't want to worry about him. What have we got here? Tell you what, I'm just going to quickly get rid of those death markers here. Because it does hide things in the minimap. There are some things over there, but... Watch out for all right. Good. What have we picked up? Some bones and some powder. No, unfortunately, I was lucky I didn't get those guys. Some soul sand. I haven't dug up any soul sand yet. I probably should do that as well. Let's just dig up some soul sand while we're here. It's a bit slow. This pickaxe. Is there any more mobs? Yes, there's some mobs down there. That thing, but that's, that's probably bound to be a nasty thing as well. <laughs> Oops, somebody's shooting at me from somewhere. I don't see where they are. Must be below. Okay. Anyway, how did I get in here? I didn't get in through there, did I? I must have been these steps. I came down. Yes, good. Right, it's time to go home. <laughs> Just pick up some bits and pieces here. I don't think these are the guys are dropping with a blade. With a blade. Oops. Now this is our test. Oh yeah, not bad. Didn't take too much damage there. Keep firing at him, it should just disappear. We've got another weather skeleton over there. And I'm in the cream. What else is, was around here? No, too far away. I'm not going to attack him. But, unfortunately I didn't get what I wanted to get. So I basically put a, a, a jack-o'-lantern with some cobblestone in it so you can hide behind it as you, if you need to, as you're approaching. I can hear a gust. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. It's uh, been fun, actually. I've had, I'm having a great time with this mod pack, uh, especially with the rough tweaks bit, but you don't recover so quickly. So you, it gives you time to go and do other things while you're recovering, so like a bit of fishing or whatever else, which is, which is great fun. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now. <laughs>